Hey, what it do, what it do, what it do, it's ya boy Q. And welcome back to YouTube, Fog Dwellers. Look, I am super, super excited for this one. This is a tier list that we've been talking about putting together now for a little bit over on my stream, over on Twitch, where we do stream a lot of Dead by Daylight. We play like three, four, five, sometimes six days a week. We also do a lot of casting over on our channel as well as some other channels for some tournaments and things. So definitely feel free to swing by sometime, say what's up. Uh, again, link for that is going to be down in the description below. But I wanted to talk about an exhaustion tier list for survivors. I know that there's a lot of people who have been getting into it since the recent releases of Resident Evil and Pinhead. Of course, we've got some people getting back into it for those same reasons. And even just a lot of veterans. I mean, there's not too many exhaustion perks. Really, there's only seven. But we're going to break it down. We're going to go over it. We're going to list them from, of course, S tier down to D tier. I really hope you guys enjoy. If y'all enjoy the video, do me a huge favor. Hit that like, leave a comment. That's going to help us out with that good old YouTube algorithm, all that good stuff. And hopefully that's going to help put our content in front of more people. Uh, also, of course, if you hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, we can make sure we get you right back here for the next video. All right. But I know y'all are here for that exhaustion tier list. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and get right down into it. All right, so when it comes to exhaustion perks, remember, we've got seven of them we need to keep in mind here, all right? We've got Adrenaline, we've got Dead Hard, we've got Head On, we've got Sprint Burst, we've got Balanced Landing, we've got Lithe, as well as Smash Hit here too, okay? Now, a couple things to keep in mind. We're going to, uh, when we talk about our tiers here for these exhaustion perks, we're going to take a few things into account. One, um, kind of when you can use it, like the utility of a specific perk, as well as how much value it can get you and how much diversity do you have in using this perk, okay? So save for that reason, because adrenaline, you know, adrenaline's really good, especially if you can get to that late game, it can it can like really, really turn games around. We're talking about, you know, taking somebody off the floor that's maybe slugged and allow them to now be in play. Maybe somebody's unhooked when they get unhooked, now they're full health and they have five seconds of sprint burst. Maybe they're actually currently keeping the killer busy and they are injured, now all of a sudden they're not injured again, again they get that sprint burst, or even if they aren't injured, they just get that five seconds worth of that little burst from there as well for that extra movement speed, not really sprint burst. I know I've said sprint burst like 5,000 times. We're not talking about sprint burst, the exhaustion perk. We are talking about uh, adrenaline and that five seconds of added movement speed that you get. I would really like to put it in S tier because I think for people who understand how to use it and can, and can like consistently get into like late game scenarios and everything i think s tier makes sense um but since we're talking about overall for like i would say like the common player or the player who plays more than the average bear but isn't like a you know 8 10 12 000 hour uh you know dbd turbo nerd so maybe not s and for that reason honestly i don't even think i can put it into a strictly because remember we talked about we're also going to be taking into consideration how often you get to use the perk right and adrenaline is a one-time use perk over the course of a trial if you don't even get to the end game um really adrenaline does nothing for you so for that reason and i think for that reason only we're gonna go ahead and actually slide adrenaline down into the b tier to talk uh to start off our list also by the way you're gonna see we are using tier maker you probably see a lot of your favorite content creators using this i will leave a link for tier maker uh, down in the description below just in case you're ever curious about using it but let's go ahead and move on from adrenaline we're going to talk about dead hard here uh dead hard is one of those perks that i think uh ooh, i think can be uh used in a lot of different ways you definitely see a lot of people when they first start using dead hard they're going to be looking behind them they're going to be trying to bait out swings building distance that way you'll also see people using dead hard in order to um dead hard for distance right make it to pallets make it to vaults um, you'll also see it to basically when they're getting unhooked by a player that are they're getting unhooked like right in front of the killer they'll use dead hard to go through the killer to the other side while they swing through them um, of course dead hard as always kind of had like the meme side to it and the fact that like you can get dead hearted on you know you can get exhausted on the ground a lot um, sometimes dead hard doesn't do exactly what you want it to do if you're looking behind you to see when you need to dead hard and then while in the process of your dead hard you happen to hit the side of a tile or an object, or you just run straight up into a wall or a tree. Um, so for that reason, I'm not going to put it in S tier, although I think a lot of people would put it into S tier. Uh, but keep in mind, 
even though Dead Heart is something that you can use like multiple times throughout the course of a trial versus compared to Adrenaline, remember, we put Adrenaline down here in B tier because you can only use it one time, even though you can definitely get a lot of value from that. Uh, instead, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put Dead Heart up into the A tier. I feel like a lot of people, when they first start playing around uh, with like an exhaustion tier list, I think a lot of people have this perception that Dead Heart is actually the best exhaustion perk out there. We're going to be able to break down while we go over these next five perks, why that's not necessarily the case. But let's just go ahead and move right on into head on. Anybody who's been through my stream over on Twitch knows that I absolutely, um, absolutely love to use head on. But because you can't really use it to build distance, um, you know, if you're going to be using head on for some Mimi plays for, let's say, just for some stuns on some killers, you can help your teams out while your teammates out while in chase as well. But generally to get full use out of head on, you're also having to run quick and quiet, which now means you're using two of the four perks that you're allowed to equip over the course of a trial. And now you're having to use two of them just to truly get value out of head-on itself of course head-on can also be used to save your teammates if they happen to go down by uh down by a locker and they don't happen to see that you had already gotten in there you can kind of trick some killers into thinking that maybe you've got ds when you don't they might think that you're trying to force like a uh D, like a ds play so they'll wait outside the locker and then you can just simply head on them we've done that before but i think when we're talking about overall quality of use as much as uh head on is for fun i think when we're talking about utility and how much true value you get out of it i just don't think i can really move it out of the c class even though i would really like to put it in the b tier here again just because like i really have a lot of fun playing with head on when we do but when we're talking about overall value i think we're going to have to move it down in the c tier i don't think we're going to have any d tier um exhaustion perks but I do think that head on does have to be like at the top of the C tier, at least for now. Now, of course, Sprint Burst is kind of uh, most, I guess you could say DVD players introduction into exhaustion perks because a lot of people do tend to play Meg when they first get the game. She does have the uh, Sprinto Burst because um, I do know a lot of people really like the Sprint Burst. Of course, you can also 99 your Sprint Burst uh, by holding, you know, your, your Sprint button. That way you can kind of not have to use it you can still run to other objectives hold your sprint button and of course you're going to keep your 99 for when you really need to use it to you know build that distance from a killer that's coming into you uh the only problem though of course sprint burst you can really only trigger it by or you can really only conserve it by 99ing it and that is definitely like a very high um i would say skill ceiling like tactic which is why i'm going to put it below dead hard in the A tier, I'm actually honestly even considering putting it up into top of the B tier, but I think because of where I'm going to put some of our other um, exhaustion perks coming up, I think we're going to put Sprint Burst right behind Dead Hard as far as in the A tier. Uh, again, I think a lot of people do waste it in the fact that they'll wait for like a killer to get really, really close and then just run off, which then kind of makes the killer have to commit to you at that point versus where you can... Uh, let them start to get a little close to you, but them still have a lot of distance. Then you take that three seconds of 150% movement speed with sprint burst. Now the killer has to make a conscious decision. Do I want to go ahead and engage chase with this person who's already, you know, not only got some distance, but is now building said distance, or do I just go ahead and find the next survivor? Um, so again, I do think sprint burst has some big value in, you know, obviously we do see it quite a bit in our lobbies but I'm, I'm gonna have to put it below dead hard as far as for tier list reasons there just again just because i think you get more use out of i can use dead hard for distance i can use it to perform uh you know avoid swings and such whereas again sprint burst we're strictly using it to build distance so we're gonna put it there in the a tier now balanced landing is fun of course you know you've always seen some teams you know the old school meme uh you know, you get a four man swift all running balance landing and, you know, taking a Haddonfield offering. Um, you do definitely see a lot of balance landing in competitive play. Uh, I know I mentioned it very briefly, but we work with the DBD League as well as Dead by Esports casting some games for them. And then, of course, we also cast the Wheel of Fate as well and some other tournaments that come up over the course of the year, too. So we see balance landing come out a lot. Balance landing, though, it is one of those exhaustion perks that 
if you're playing in pubs kind of limits one when you can use it obviously if you get into a corn map you're kind of really only limited to using this at the tractor um you know you can't really use it in a lot of other maps unless like let's say if we're talking about larry's you can only use it in the middle part it's the only place where you can um cause you know yourself to drop the distance in order to get the speed burst there but on a lot of maps you're going to have you know you're going to have pride rocks you've got a couple maps where you've got floors and things um you can use balance landing multiple times uh, which is going to be the reason why we're going to put it over adrenaline in the b tier i just don't think i can put it in the a tier because when you are running balance landing you kind of have to pay attention as far as where you're going uh as far as like where you're working right because again if you're not by anywhere that has a distance to fall from you're not going to be able to do anything to help and you know engage balance landing in order to get that burst to break that you know build that distance from your killer but if you do have the ability you know if you're on those maps where you have that ability to really flex the use of balance landing you can get a lot of big value for it but since it's just not as consistent again we're going to put in the b tier but since we do have the ability to use it more than one time i think that's why we're going to put it above adrenaline here i'm not going to say that adrenaline is bad value again keep in mind we're keeping our tier list here part of it is based off of how much value you can get from it adrenaline gives you a whole bunch of value but it is only in the end game meaning that you have to get to the end game in order to get value from it whereas the other six exhaustion perks that we see here on our list you can get you know you can get value from it throughout the course of a trial right even smash hit which is like our newest um exhaustion perk that you don't see that much of like as much as i think some people would say since you don't see it that they would assume that it's down here in the d list i don't think that's really the case um they also gave it a buff uh, a buff over what it was first released at when it was first released after you stun somebody with a pallet you would then get the three second burst of speed however of course since when you're stunning them you're still kind of in the animation of dropping a pallet they did buff that to four seconds meaning that it is technically it is technically the one exhaustion perk that has the um longest use out of it because after the stun animation you get like 3.5 seconds as it points to 2.5 seconds back when it was based at three seconds instead of four so definitely would have to put it over um head on i think because you're getting that sprint you're getting that burst typically while you're in in uh chase right also you're going to be getting that burst while you um already have the killer committed to you and if you're doing a good job with your stuns you're doing it while you're not also getting hit so you're saving yourself some health states here actually i don't even know if i put this in c we might put this up. You know what? I'm going to put this up into the B category here because B is kind of like your average, you would say, right? Especially what since the ends that we only have one more tier, one more like item to put on the list here. Um, and these are kind of like your, you get some decent value out of it. I would put, I feel comfortable putting smash it here at the end of the, uh, the B tier here. So that does leave one last exhaustion perk though. Uh, for you guys who have stuck through the video this long, who have been through the channel enough, uh, who have been over on twitch y'all know my feelings on life so y'all probably know where i'm going to be putting this perk i do think life though is in general it's kind of a perk that gets underrated because people only kind of think about the fact that you like yeah you have to use a window or a vault so you don't always have those next to you but for the most part it's not like when you're playing with balance landing right where like the rarity of finding a area that allows you to drop and get your sprint burst you're gonna find many more vault locations whether they're downed pallets whether they're actual vault locations right you can even do this like let's say if you're vaulting out of a window on haddonfield you do lose about a second of your sprint burst of your like initial like 150 percent like burst of speed because you're falling out of the window but even then you're getting something of a balance landing just not quite as long because you started it with a vault right um, also got to keep in mind with life life is like sprint burst if i am in a situation out in uh let, let's say that i'm trying to do the gen that's back by cow tree on a, on one of the corn maps and that pallet has already been thrown and i'm kind of in the corner of the map there's no other safety by me i hear a terror radius coming 
I can use Lythe in this like similar way as Sprint Burst. I can go hit my vault early, get my hundred, uh, my three seconds of 150% movement speed before the chase even starts in order to get myself to a safe area or make that killer decide if they want to actually engage chase with me. But you can also use it to uh, get out of some sticky situations. You can do it where you've been running a killer maybe for 15, 20, maybe even 30, 40, 50 seconds. You have now incurred a hit. You're in a jungle gym or you're at shack or you're at a building. You can now hit a um, vault location and now break away from that tile and either prolong chase again because you've built that initial distance or you can you know, use it to get out of the chase completely because it'll decide to break chase. Also, you can use life in situations where you're in a one-on-one -on -one at the end game, you're in a loop, you can then, uh, let's say, stun and do a CJ tech or stun and then break through another window, hit a vault and save somebody that's on hook. There's just really so many endless opportunities and so many different ways to use life. And since life is like a lot of these perks other than adrenaline, where you can use them multiple times throughout the course of a map or so you can use them like multiple times throughout the course of a trial. Right. Um, for that reason, since life is indeed life. We're going to be putting that up in the S tier. Now, of course, with it being a tier list, it is subjective. This is my tier list. I would love to hear like where your guys' tier list of your exhaustion perks would change. Definitely feel to let me know down in those comments below. And again, we'll go ahead and put the website that we used here for our tier maker down in the comments below in case any of y'all are wanting to do anything similar. If y'all want to have even some more discussions on this, not only just down in the comments below, because of course, Again, if y'all enjoyed the content, leave a like and a comment, YouTube algorithm stuff, all that good stuff. But you can also come and chat with us in our Discord. It's been growing a lot here lately. We'll go ahead and put that Discord link down in the description below as well. All right. Uh, and again, we stream a lot over on Twitch. Definitely feel free to pop over, say what's up sometime. I, I'm going to leave that down there. Of, uh, all right. Um, and like I said, man, if y'all can do me a huge favor, we already talked about the like and the comment, but also make sure y'all hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on it would really help me out a lot we're pushing for 500 subs over on our youtube channel by the end of the year so definitely feel free to hit that turn those notifications on that way we can catch you right back here for the next video all right and until that video or until i see you over on stream remember with everything crazy going on in the world today be true be you be sincere game hard and love harder it's your boy q signing out Baby, you wanna be me, but you will never be as fresh as see you in.